Inside the shadow of Geneva, underneath the Earth's surface, lies a marvel of human creativity and a likely harbinger of destruction. The Huge Hadron Collider. It is a manual of logical investigation, allowing researchers to inspect the subatomic global, ultimately prompting the revelation of the mysterious God molecule. A long time ago, yet currently eminent physicist Brian Cox has as of late made a chilling statement that sent shock waves at some stage in the logical neighborhood place. Something disturbing has been diagnosed at CERN, something that would have consequences a long way beyond our knowledge. Has our project for statistics set us on an effect path with disaster? Go with us as we dig into the pit of this logical puzzle. Be that as it may, before we jump into the statement knowledge what is full-size molecule fuel pedals, the Extensive Hadron Collider LHC. Labored by CERN, it is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most sturdy atom smasher. IT addresses the zenith of human logical accomplishment. Fact be instructed, it is so sturdy that it could reproduce the very states of the universe's creation to the world. But should this system, meant to open the insider facts of the universe, maintain the key to something undeniably more dismal. CERN, installed in 1954, is one of the international's most renowned examination associations, with 23 participating states and a large number of researchers. It is a center hub for cooperation and advancement. The LHC is CERN's chief assignment, yet it's only one segment of a massive enterprise of fuel pedals and experiments. Believe a path, but not for automobiles or ponies. This track is for subatomic particles, and it's a race against existence itself. The LHC quickens protons to almost the velocity of light, sending them on a crash path that impersonates the power of the universe at the hour of the considerable detonation. The influences make temperatures one million times hotter than the center of the sun. A huge number of magnets guide the protons on their tour, while mind-boggling cooling frameworks keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. These incorporate 1232 dipole magnets, which twist the shafts, and 392 quadrupole magnets, which focus the bars. Only before impact, one more form of magnet is used to press the debris nearer together to increment the opportunities of influences. The errand of cows them to impact is just like terminating needles six mil separated with such accuracy that they meet. The accuracy required is remarkable. The innovation unmatched. The LHC's plan is a wonder of designing. It contains two close by equal pillar traces that lie stowed away 574 feet underneath the floor, blanketed from the world's radiation. On this underground world, the entire framework is cooled to a temperature of 456 F, colder than the vacuum of room itself. This bloodless weather is essential for the superconducting magnets to work ideally. The pillars within the LHC are made to crash at four regions across the fuel pedal ring, equating to the places of four molecule indicators, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills an outstanding need, investigating various components of molecule cloth science. Together, they move approximately as epic cameras, capturing depictions of those influences. Researchers then filter via the trash, looking for indications of the subtle Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God molecule, and unique peculiarities CLU to the universe's vital structure. It's like sorting out an inestimable jigsaw puzzle, one wherein the portions are imperceptible, and the picture is difficult to understand. By concentrating on the microcosm, we gain bits of expertise into the cosmos. However, with each reaction comes another inquiry, and with each revelation, another test. The LHC is not truly a logical device. It's an indication of human interest and development. It typifies our determined quest for records and our craving to understand the essential powers that shape our universe. But as we push the limits of what we recognize, we have to moreover recall the ethical and existential inquiries that emerge. What are the dangers of examining the unexplored global? Could our mission for knowledge coincidentally open powers we can't manage? Control within the sacred corridors of CERN, wherein the limits of human expertise are always pushed. A disclosure has arisen that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most prepared SCI researchers. Brian Cox, a previous scientist at CERN and a voice of expert in the realm of particle bodily technology, has as of late made a declaration that has left the world each intrigued and unfortunate. 
Cox's words reverberate with an unpleasant readability. The objective of CERN's Huge Hadron Collider is to breed a smaller-than-anticipated huge explosion. Yes, you heard that right, a smaller-than-expected form of the very occasion that brought forth our universe. The physicist likewise happened to make sense of the ramifications of this objective, providing the LHC's unprecedented ability for making new disclosures. This incorporates its capability to open the mysteries of the Higgs boson and the research of dark count, a confusing substance that makes up a crucial element of the universe. Consider holding the pressure of creation in your grasp. The potential to invoke the actual pith of the universe is a tempting opportunity. Be that as it may, one loaded with peril. The smaller-than-expected massive bang isn't truly a hypothetical concept. It's a huge reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the tensions, the crude electricity, all reproduction the states of the universe's early stages. It's like final on the earliest days of recorded history, seeing the introduction of presence itself. However, with such electricity comes responsibility and the inquiry poses a potential risk. Imagine a situation wherein something turns out badly. Something grew to become out badly. As a matter of fact, back in 1978, the Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky encountered a catastrophe that would usually modify the route of his lifestyles. In 1978, Bugorsky was chipping away on the U-7 synchrotron on the Organization for High Energy Physical Science in Pratvino, Russia. A breakdown prompted his head by the way getting into the instantaneous manner of a proton shaft. The pillar, with a power that opposes understanding, went through his skull, entering the rear of his head and leaving through his nostril. Bugorsky's revel in turned into tremendous. He noticed a streak greater excellent than 1,000 suns. However, he had no worries. The pillar's way left a course of annihilation, eating tissue and bone. Yet he stayed cognizant and certainly even strolled to the center for treatment. The final results became both sickening and entrancing. The pillar's way prompted constrained tissue passing, leading to the lack of hearing in one ear and halfway facial lack of movement. But amazingly, Bugorsky's scholarly capacity stayed in salvageable form, and he proceeded along with his logical vocation. This incident is not absolutely an individual misfortune, however a preventative story that highlights the enormous strength and possibly chance of particle gasoline pedals. The dangers of a particle gasoline pedal just like the LHC are not to be messed with. The potential for unanticipated reactions, the actual texture of reality being manipulated. Those are not the stuff of sci-fi but, as an alternative, true issues voiced by some in the academic local vicinity. The universe's mysteries are simple toys in addition to devices of giant electricity. Point one of the most disturbing and enrapturing issues associated with the LHC's checks is the danger of creating a smaller than expected black hollow. Dark openings are locals of space time wherein gravity is stable to such an extent that now not even mild can get far from their cosmic vacuum cleaners. The devourers of stars, the mysterious elements that conceal in the shadows of our universe. That the LHC would be able to make this kind of substance even on a minuscule scope is beautiful for the normal populace and specialists the identical. Should this black hole broaden wildly, gulping the Earth from inside? But researchers at CERN have guaranteed that any black hollow made would be temperamental and vanish almost immediately. The faraway danger has lighted discussions, fears, and a sense of lovely on the power we rent. It is important to recognize how the LHC could make a black hole. It has to do with the key mechanics of particle gas pedals. When protons are crushed collectively at nearly the velocity of mild, the power brought is top-notch to the point that it twists the feel of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline extended tight and then a sizable burden dropped onto it. The feel twists, bends, and assuming the burden is weighty enough, it could make a wretchedness so profound that whatever close by might be added into it. That may be a short-sighted representation for what could occur in the LHC. Within the realm of quantum physical technology, where the hints of the universe are both abnormal and top-notch, there exists a hypothesis that more factors might be hid inside our reality. If these elements exist, the LHC's influences ought to take advantage of them, making a gravitational pipe that structures a tiny black hole. This confounding dance of particles has even grabbed the eye of some internationally popular researchers, especially the overdue Stephen Hawking. In his e-book, Stellis, 
He advised of a situation in which the Higgs boson could come to be temperamental at extraordinarily excessive electricity ranges. This shakiness should result in a devastating vacuum rot, a grandiose event that would not simply obliterate the Earth, but the entire universe itself. The appeared English cosmology OL and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rhee communicated his personal hobbies approximately the exam's LED at CERN in his ebook on what's to come back possibilities for humankind. He investigated the feasible risks associated with atom smasher exams, along with the ones at CERN. His words were not just preventative. They were touched with a sense of existential worry. He mentioned a worst-case scenario possible where a disastrous investigation could make a situation referred to as vacuum precariousness. This shakiness could, in speculation, is cause a stage development that would echo through the real texture of space-time. The final results and widespread calamity that would inlet the whole universe. Rhee's interests were not constrained to hypothetical insights. He relegated a chance to these devastating outcomes, but a low one. In any case, even a microscopic possibility, he contended, should provide us opportunity to forestall and think. The stakes are unfathomably high, and the part for mistake is razor skinny. The researchers at CERN have calculated.